this is NR100 colorimeter by 3NH. Going to switch it on. In this instrument, you can measure color by pressing on this button at the back. So this instrument uses the LAB color measurement scale. The L represents black to white and the numerical range is from 0 to 100. So this means that 0 indicates black and 100 indicates white color. A ranges from minus A to plus A and the numerical value is minus 128 to plus 127. So negative values indicate green color and positive values indicate red color. In the same way, B ranges from minus B to plus B and the color ranges from blue to yellow. The numerical range is from minus 128 to plus 128. So this means that negative values indicate blue color and positive values indicate yellow color. I'm going to demonstrate how to conduct a color test between a standard and a sample. Here we have our standard and I'm going to use this as the sample. So let me measure the standard. Here T001 indicates that this is the first standard. These are the LAB values for our standard. Now to measure the sample based on this standard, you're going to click on this button. As you can see, the values are all empty. Here you measure the sample value. Number 001 indicates sample number 1 and as I mentioned earlier T001 indicates standard 1. So this is the first sample for the first standard. Here are the LAB values of our sample and the delta values represent the difference between the sample and the standard. We look at the delta E value which is 0.41 in this case. Here is a table for reference. As you can see, a delta value of 0.41 is said to be a very low difference and is accepted in all industries. This means that our sample has passed the color test. Now let us measure our second sample. For our second sample, you can see that the delta E value is 0.43, which again is accepted in all industries and therefore our sample number 2 has passed the color test. In this instrument, you can also set tolerance levels which will automatically indicate whether your sample has passed or failed the test. To set tolerance levels, click on the menu button. Here you have an option called Tolerance, switch it on, I'm going to set the tolerance levels to 0.5 which is accepted in all industries. I have now set the tolerance level, going back to the standard measurement mode, here I have the standard and the sample. I will measure the standard. Here is my standard values and for this standard I will click on this button to measure my sample.
here you can see that the delta E value is less than 0.5, which means that my sample has passed the color test.